It's 10 o'clock at night, the house is quiet, the world outside is slowed down, and the only sound is the gentle hum of the refrigerator. You're winding down after a long day, maybe catching up on your favorite show or scrolling through your phone. You're relaxing on the sofa feeling content and comfortable. You're not physically hungry, you had a satisfying dinner just a couple of hours ago. But then, almost out of nowhere, a thought pops into your mind. Chocolate. Or maybe it's chips, cookies, or ice cream. The urge starts as a whisper but quickly grows louder until it's all you can think about. Before you know it, you're on your feet, searching the kitchen for a treat. You open cabinets, peek into the fridge, and scan the pantry for something sweet or salty. It feels almost automatic like you're being pulled by an invisible force. But here's the thing. This isn't about a lack of willpower or self-control. It's a universal, deeply human experience. Cravings are not a sign of weakness or a moral failing. They're a result of how our brains are wired, shaped by millions of years of evolution. Our ancestors evolved to seek out energy-dense foods, like sugar and fat, because these foods were rare and essential for survival. In today's world though, this ancient system is constantly hijacked by the endless availability of tempting, hyper-palatable foods. Supermarkets and convenience stores are filled with snacks designed to be irresistible, making it harder than ever to resist cravings. That late-night chocolate craving? It's your ancient survival brain reacting to modern cues, bright packaging, sweet smells, and memories of comfort. Your brain is simply doing what it was designed to do, even if it doesn't always serve you now. By understanding the science behind cravings, you can learn to manage these urges, not by relying on sheer willpower, but by using smart, compassionate strategies. Let's explore what's really happening in your brain when cravings hit, and discover how you can take back control. To truly understand why we crave certain foods, we need to dive into the fascinating world of the brain's reward system. This intricate network of neurons and chemicals is responsible for shaping our desires, habits, and even our willpower. It's not just about willpower or self-control. There's a powerful biological process at play. When you eat something pleasurable like a piece of chocolate or your favorite dessert, your brain releases dopamine. This feel-good chemical acts as a reward, motivating you to seek out that experience again. Dopamine doesn't just make you feel happy, it actually teaches your brain to remember and repeat the behavior that led to the reward. For our ancestors, stumbling upon high-calorie foods like ripe berries or a successful hunt was a major survival advantage. Dopamine reinforced these choices, ensuring that early humans would remember where to find these foods and prioritize them in the future. This ancient wiring helped our species survive in a world where food was scarce and unpredictable. Fast forward to today and we're surrounded by foods engineered to be hyper-palatable, loaded with sugar, fat, and salt. These modern treats are designed to trigger massive dopamine surges, far beyond what our ancestors ever experienced. The result? Our brains light up with pleasure, making these foods almost irresistible. Your brain quickly logs these foods as highly rewarding, making you crave them more than, say, a bowl of broccoli or a simple salad. The more intense the flavor and texture, the stronger the memory and desire for that food becomes. Each time you give in to these cravings, the neural pathways in your brain grow stronger. Over time, this creates a feedback loop, making it easier to reach for junk food and harder to resist, even when you know it's not the healthiest choice. While this isn't the same as addiction for most people, the underlying mechanism is surprisingly similar. Your brain is simply doing what it was designed to do, seek out rewards and repeat behaviors that feel good. Understanding this science can be empowering, it shifts the focus away from self-blame and toward working with your biology, not against it. You can start to see cravings as a natural response, not a personal failing. Remember, you're not weak or lacking in willpower, your brain is responding exactly as it was designed, shaped by millions of years of evolution. Next, let's explore how everyday triggers can set this powerful cycle in motion, and what you can do to regain control. Cravings are often sparked by cues in your environment. A smell, a TV advert, or even boredom can trigger a craving loop cue, routine, reward. The cue sets off the craving, your brain anticipates the dopamine hit. The routine is the mental and physical drive to get the food. The reward is the pleasure you feel when you eat it, reinforcing the loop. Each time you repeat this, the loop gets stronger and harder to resist. Willpower alone struggles against this well-established habit. The key is to identify your cues and disrupt the routine, breaking the loop. Let's look at what makes these cravings even more intense. Modern life amplifies cravings through blood sugar swings, stress, and lack of sleep. Sugary snacks spike your blood sugar then crash it, triggering more cravings. This cycle leaves you reaching for quick fixes like biscuits or sweets. Stress releases cortisol, which increases your appetite for high-fat, high-sugar foods. 
These comfort foods give a quick dopamine hit, temporarily easing stress. Poor sleep disrupts hunger hormones, ghrelin rises making you hungrier while leptin drops so you feel less full. A tired brain also has weaker impulse control making cravings harder to resist. These factors combine, making cravings feel overwhelming. But you can take back control. Let's talk about practical ways to manage cravings. Here's your toolkit. You can't eliminate cravings entirely, but you can absolutely reduce their power over you. Cravings are a normal part of life, and everyone experiences them from time to time. The key is learning how to respond to them in a way that supports your long-term goals, rather than letting them control your choices. Start by eating regular balanced meals that include protein, healthy fats, and fiber. These nutrients help keep your blood sugar stable, which can prevent the sudden spikes and crashes that often trigger intense cravings for sugary or processed foods. Don't skip meals, hunger is one of the strongest triggers for cravings. When you let yourself get too hungry, your body naturally seeks out quick energy, often in the form of high-calorie snacks. Stay hydrated throughout the day. Thirst is often mistaken for hunger, so drinking water regularly can help you better understand what your body actually needs. Before giving in to a craving, try drinking a glass of water and waiting 15 minutes. Sometimes the urge will fade on its own, and you'll realize you weren't truly hungry after all. Control your environment as much as possible. Don't keep tempting foods at home or within easy reach. If it's not there, you can't eat it on impulse. Instead, stock up on healthy alternatives like fresh fruit, nuts, or yogurt. Having these options visible and ready to grab makes it easier to make better choices. This is called choice architecture. By making healthy choices the easiest ones, you set yourself up for success even when your willpower is low. When a craving hits, try to surf the urge. Notice the craving without judgment and remind yourself that it will pass if you don't act on it. Distract yourself for 10 minutes. Journal, meditate, read, or do something you enjoy. Shifting your focus can help the craving lose its intensity. Go for a walk, call a friend, or listen to your favorite music. Physical activity and social connection are powerful tools for breaking the craving cycle. Remember, most cravings pass if you don't feed them. The more you practice resisting, the easier it becomes over time. Each time you manage a craving, you weaken the old habit loop and build confidence in your ability to make healthy choices. And remember, you don't have to do it alone. Sometimes extra support from friends, family, or a professional can make all the difference in staying on track. For some, lifestyle changes are enough. Others may benefit from extra support. Supplements like chromium picolinate or fiber, psyllium husk, glucomannan, may help regulate appetite and blood sugar. Always use supplements cautiously and consult your doctor first. If cravings are constant or overwhelming, see a professional. Sometimes cravings signal nutritional deficiencies or underlying health issues. Your GP can help identify and address these. In complex cases, prescription medications may be considered, but only under medical supervision. For most, simple strategies are enough to regain control. Cravings are part of being human, not a flaw. They're driven by ancient biology meeting modern temptation. You have the power to influence your cravings. Use balanced meals, manage stress, and prioritize sleep. Re-engineer your environment and surf the urge. Progress, not perfection, is the goal. Every time you manage a craving, you strengthen your control. Be patient and compassionate with yourself. You're retraining your brain, one choice at a time. With knowledge and practice, you can build a healthier, more peaceful relationship with food.